Princess. Good day, everyone. It's Peachy. Welcome back to more Mario Party 2 action. So this time we're going to the weirdest and most bizarrest type of board ever to be created in Mario Party. Oh my gosh, is this gonna be some crazy times? Alrighty then. So we're here, everyone. This is Mish Western. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name already. This is Mystery Land. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. Um. I feel like the audio isn't in bal is not all there. I think it is now. Okay, um We're here everyone. This is Mystery Land. These are hidden jungle paths, countless myst mystical artifacts towering over these mysterious pathways as archaeologists search for the stories behind these artifacts. Uh your objective this time I don't know if I used a toad voice before. <laughs> is to defeat the Bowser Sphinx, a legendary monster that possesses riddles to all travelers it meets. Whatever it takes to defeat Bowser to become the superstar of Mystery Land. Now before we, before this adventure begins, we must decide the turn order. Oh my gosh, has this got a lot of crazy memories, I gotta tell you. And it looks like I'm not gonna go last. <laughs> but funny thing is, Mario's taking the lead. And not only that, but I just realized that, um... Since Mario got last on the previous board, um, we actually have my um, Team Peach here again. <laughs> and it's kind of funny how that works because, you know, we started Mario Party 2 with um, these guys when I first played the my favorite board. And then now we're playing with them again on the board I hate on this game. So it's kind of interesting to have them back twice. I never thought that would actually happen. But I should have figured that because, you know, Mario Party 1 and Mario Party 2, um kind of don't have that many computer players to choose from so well i don't think i um, mario party 1 we ran into them again but mario party 2 we actually get them twice so that's cool <laughs> Alrighty, so first things first before i officially start this um <laughs> excuse me oh i actually have to wait for my turn now according to the official mario party 2 um rule book this is technically supposed to be peach's board for mario party 2 and by gosh, I do not like this board at all. I mean, seriously, what did they do to it? But it's considered Peach's board. Why? I don't know, besides the great outfit she's wearing. There's really no nothing interesting about it. Unless we take a little detour up this way. Ha ha ha, there it is. I'm sure some of you are probably wondering, but that? Can you tell what that is right there? Yeah, that's Peach's castle. <laughs> I remember when I first saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, is it on this board? There's Dory, or will be believed to be Dory. But um, yeah, interesting to know was that Peach's Castle appeared on Mario Party 2, and I thought that was quite interesting. So I'm guessing this is why it's Peach's board? Well, I don't know, but um, yeah, so for whatever reason, this is supposed to be Peach's board. Oh, and this is one reason why I don't really like it too much. But yeah, because as a dedicated Peach fan, and this being Peach's board, I am determined to win this. I have to win this. Just like Peach's birthday, Kate. I have to win this board. So I'm gonna do my hardest, and I'll have to cheat a little. Just kidding. I will do my best to start this game right. I believe we played all the four player mini games, so we're good in that category. And I've kind of had to listen out for um, one of my brothers to come home. In case he's knocking at the door and I don't hear it. That's why I got the volume kind of low, so I don't really hear too much of what's going on. Should turn it down a little more. Yeah, so I apologize for the audio if it's not coming out right. But I have to keep it really low. But yeah, so- Oh, I pressed- Oh no, I pressed B! As oh my gosh. Now that was quite the mystery how I lost this minigame. I don't know what- Maybe I was being distracted. Ugh. Wow, I lost this minigame right off the bat. I cannot believe that. Wow, they all lost, so... <laughs> really nothing to... They all lose, right? Yeah, it's a draw. Alrighty then, so I figured that since this is Mystery Land, we're going to be doing a little mystery talking. Detective work. <laughs> um, Let's see, I think I've talked about most of the things I wanted to talk about. Mainly concerning that this is Peach's board. 
Um, this board, uh, Mystery Land, consists of far, four islands and a sort of intersection in the middle. Now, on these islands, each of them go in a round clockwork, clockwork, clockwork path. Am I saying that right? Clockwork, clockwise path. So, no matter which island you go to, you'll always be going left to right to the top. You know. Yeah, left to right, that would be the correct way. But um, two of the islands have like gates, so you can use a skeleton key to get through. But the problem is that these two islands that have the gates, you cannot go to them. Or you can't access them through the same gate. And funny thing is, the Bowser Bomb in this game is kind of interesting because Bowser 2 can only go in a circular path. Clockwise path. CLOCKWISE! <laughs> At the end of this turn, Bowser Finks will appear. So that's kind of cool. So Peach start! But regardless, do check out Peach's outfit. Isn't that cool? I love that little like, I don't know, what is it, a cut? Or a little cut in her dress? <laughs> I thought that was pretty interesting for her design in this board. But the funny thing about it too is, um... Oh, hold on, Bowser's turn. Wow, Bowser Sphinx right off the bat. There's this little scarf on his head. <laughs> I am the Bowser Sphinx and I love riddles! If you cannot answer my riddle, I shall take all your coins! <laughs> So he rolls a 10, 14, 22. Well, good, you go get him, Bowser, with your bad self. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. And then funny thing is, like, if there's a character in there and you already lost all your coins, um, Bowser won't do much because he landed on the bank. <laughs> My journey has ended. You should play a mini game to raise your spirits. Farewell, long live riddles. I think we had like three Bowser appearances on the boards, right? I can't remember. Oh, Mecha Marathon. Remember that last time I won Mecha Marathon and I wasn't even looking or paying attention? <laughs> that was quite interesting, and I fear that Wario is going to be the one to win this mini game because um, the star is right there, and I wish I did win um, Shy Guy Says because that was the better version of the game. But yeah, so that's how it goes for this board. I don't play it too often, and I never would like to play it that often. Yahoo! And actually, I lost my train of thought, but I have a lifesaver here, so we'll just eat it now. Oh, we're talking about Peach's design and stuff, right? And I love how she has that little, like, um, exploring hat. I thought that was a cool idea. I think technically, out of all the boards of Mario Party 2, Peach is the only one... Or, Peach only wears her crown for two boards. And that would be um, Spaceland, which is my favorite board, and uh, Bowserland. So I know on Pirate Land she wears um, the pirate hat. Western Land she's got the cowboy cowgirl hat, and then in Horror Land she's wearing the witch hat or wizard hat, whichever you prefer. Dang, lucky you, Mario! Oh, great, Mario's back. I think I've played with Mario a lot in these boards. Because um, he was in um, Spaceland, then he was in Horror Land. Western Land he skipped, I believe. Then we played Pirate Land with him, and now Mystery Land. Ooh, if he comes back again, oh my gosh, is it gonna be a nightmare. Unfortunately for me, I do not have enough coins, so damn it, Mario. Cost me a star. But I think that's all that's to say about the board for now. <laughs> but yeah, so the happening spaces in this work board just work like warp spaces, so you're just gonna keep jumping island to island. Same deal, you warp in a clockwise pattern, so no worries about going back. So if like Wario, he has to go he has to land on three more just to get back to where the star was. So this board kinda reminds me of the whole um Wario's Battle Canyon from Mario Party 1, which I did not like at all. Yikes! Yikes! No! Oh, that was kind of close. Interesting, too, if you will. No! Come on! I don't know why it's making me jump like that. Yeah! <laughs> well, that's weird. We're just drawing for some reason. Well, then again, every time I was a wit, um, to pick a color, I was like far away from that color, so. 
nine. Alrighty, so one thing I thought that we would talk about is um, the whole uh, Rosalina problem that I've been having. I've been getting questions about about Rosalina because I would say that some of the things I've talked about have been quite the double standard lately. So uh, this answer is going to be for brought to you live probably April 2015. So that will probably be the most recent um, answer for you all to understand my concept about Rosalina. <clears throat> okay, so the mystery behind Princess Rosalina. I met Rosalina when I got Mario Kart Wii. Uh, the funny thing was when I unlocked her, I was like, who's this chick? And you know, I didn't I didn't know anything about her and I, was, I didn't even expect to unlock her. <laughs> yeah, so when I unlocked her, I was like, who's this? She looks like a peach ripoff. Like they were trying to make uh, another peach, so... To please people or something or I don't know maybe she was like a cousin of Peach or but yeah when I saw that I was just like why did they make someone look like Peach but just like minus but her bangs I don't know it was just kind of weird that I thought it was strange that they had someone character design in that manner so from there I was like that's a they're just trying to make another Peach for some reason and I didn't really care for it too much so that's when I kind of didn't like her and then not only that, she was um, the heavyweight character of the game, so wasn't too fond of that either. Especially since um, I'm more of the like medium average person to play as, like Peach. <laughs> so then, like whenever I played Mario Kart Wii, I was like, "Ugh, Rosalina, gross. No thanks." The funny thing, I was like, she's like really tall too. Are you sure she's a? Then I thought maybe she's a queen and not actually a um, princess. So. But then later I found out that she's actually a princess. So I was like, oh okay, whatever works. And I get the first star. That's cool. Yeah, Peachy's got it. So then I said, okay. Yeah. So the only time I ever saw Rosalina was when I was playing Mario Kart Wii. I didn't even like try to research her or anything to figure out what's her origin story. But I heard a lot of people liked her and I was like, Whoa, why? Why do you guys like her so much? <laughs> so then I'm assuming that about, probably about a year later, um, I was at Best Buy and then here I saw the, um, the what do you call it version? The uh, All Stars? It was an all-star? No, no, Nintendo Selects. Because I had just gotten Super Paper Mario, so then I wanted to try more games that I was not able to buy on the Wii. Because I kind of got my Wii pretty late in the year, I think, like, years. I think I got it, like, in 2009? August, I think it was? I'm not actually sure. I'll have to check it. I don't even know if I can check, either. But yeah, that's when um I got this uh, my weave that is. So it's kind of late in late in getting games because I believe it was released in 2006. So that's like three years of games I could have missed. But anyways, then I saw a game called Super Mario Galaxy, and I was like, Super Mario Galaxy? Well, I'm kind of like a um astronomist somewhat. I love looking at planets and stars and constellations. So I figured that would be a good game to check out. And I said I'll be getting back into Mario games since um Super Mario Sunshine, which I do not own, unfortunately. Whoa! Ah, oh, my gosh! <laughs> I'm not doing good at these mini games for some reason. Probably because I'm for some reason I'm being unfocused today. Ugh! I'm gonna shake that out right now. Probably because I'm talking about Rosalina <laughs> behind her back. Sorry, chick. But wait, 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 Rosalina, I'm getting to the good part, so just hold your horses, okay? Or your Lumas. So, yeah, so anyways, I played Super Mario Galaxy, and then when I was checking out the beginning, that's when I noticed, I was like, oh my god, Rosalina's in this game. Great, now I have to look at her and hear what she has to say and blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh, I'm going for broke. 
<laughs> and there's Boo. One bad thing about this part is if you get stuck on the top left corner of this board, you can visit Boo quite the amount of times. <laughs> Someone got ducked now. Quack, quack. Quite the amount of time. So then anyways, then I learned about Rosalina and then learned that she was like in charge of the observatory and that Bowser was causing trouble so she couldn't reach him to confront him about all the problems that the galaxy was facing. And I'm gonna count right here, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I got 15 people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 16 now. But then, like, when um, I was learning about Rosalina and all of her troubles and woes, and how she was, like, almost like a single child. Well, um, she became like a foster child almost, but the Luma sort of took her in and then she grew up learning with them. And I said, oh, that poor soul, she lost her mom forever, and then all she had was these little stars to take care of her instead of like an actual human. That just made me so sad and felt bad for her. But then like, after you learn about her being abandoned and all that, then you start living, or not living, you start seeing her like start um, becoming independent and taking care of herself and learning that maybe she's not the only one without her mom. Because the Lumas were saying that they didn't have their mother either, or a parent to look after them. They were just sort of on their own. So that's when I kind of started like liking her, Rosalina a little more, especially the Lumas too. Then I said, Rosalina is pretty cool. She was like, like the whole curse, the cowardly dog thing, abandoned, and then well, the Lumas did take her in, so that's where she sort of built her strength. And we got a battle mini game. And then the fact that she kept encouraging Mario to save her his loved one. That's what made her even more awesome. Raking them in. We never played this and I never wanted to play it. Many mushrooms sit atop the spinning stump. Use your crane to rake in as many as you can. Uh, a to move the crane arm. Uh, golden mushrooms are worth three normal mushrooms, but poison purple mushrooms are worth minus three mushrooms. It's not good at all. Yeah, so in other words, just try to go for golden and leave the purple alone. But as you can see, none of the gold are in my area. And it's already hard to try and get these stupid mushrooms. You kind of have to time it right, too. And not only that, the computer players just like automatically know what to do. They just get all these mushrooms for no reason. I'm like, come on. See like that? See like how Mario did that? It's like, seriously? Oh my gosh, I really hate... I'm doing really, really awful and I don't like it. And Mario just keeps winning and winning. Why is Mario winning all of a sudden, that jerk? Is he here to annoy me? Come on, Mario. Oh, he knows this is Peach's boar, so he wants to make sure that I don't win it. And I don't like it. But like I said, I really did not, I do not like this board at all. It's, oof, the worst nightmare I ever had in my life. Okay, now let's see. Back to Rosalina. <laughs> Yeah, so then she tells Mario to go save him, and I thought that was pretty interesting that she was a princess and she had like her own observatory to rule over. Kind of like how Peach has the Mushroom Kingdom and then Daisy has Sarsalem. So Daisy was like protector, or uh, Daisy, Rosalina is the protector of the galaxy. And I said, wow, she's pretty cool. <laughs> so that's when I like turning, that's when, um, whenever I played like Mario Kart Wii, that's when I was like, ooh, Rosalina, you're cool. And I'm glad you have a dress spinning trick, like, just like the chicks. Maybe not as awesome, but still good. Cake Factory. Not a good one to play when you need money. Uh, demand for cakes is high. One player places cakes, the other strawberries. The most productive team wins. Press A to grab the cake and release to, grab, to place cake. Okay. If you place a strawberry first or pile two cakes on each other, you ruin that cake and have to start again. This is one of those games where the computer players have the advantage because they know what they're doing. 
And luckily I'm the one with the K because I find that one to be the easier job for me. Oh, and I missed. Well, that was stupid. See that Mario's already getting ahead of us. Oh, a draw. Wow, we've been getting draws quite off this often. This often. We've been getting a lot of draws. I mean, that's not that's not good at all. <laughs> Especially considering that Mario's like got the mini or the coin star. Because of that stupid um, battle minigame. Regan, I mean. Well, then again, I didn't really care too much for battle minigames in the 64. I think the only one I could really bother with would be ba Hot Bob Bomb. But the rest, just forget it. Plunder chests? Oh, golden mushroom. Then, like in Mario Party 3, same deal. I think the only one I really cared to play was Eyesore, because that was the only one I could actually win. Other ones were too difficult. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. One good thing, though, is that this board has probably the most coolest or most easiest dual minigame, compared to like Spaceland, which is very hard for me. I need a one or two. Then like Mario Kart 7 came out and then um, Rosalina was in that- oh great, now I have to work with Mario. Rosalina was in that game too and then she had her own track, Ice World. Um, I thought it was okay, but it was kind of hard. But the funny thing was since um, uh, I didn't know Rosalina had like an Ice World, so I was like, um, what part of hers? Is ice? Is it her clothes? Or maybe it's in another game I have yet to play and that's where it comes from. Crane game, we're not gonna win. I'm trying to get another star game. You're not helping me. I don't know how the computer players just button mash so good in this one. Too good. <laughs> I think ever since I lost that Shy Guy Says, I just started messing up from there. This is not going so well at all. And here I am trying to make sure I win this board. Well, I probably would if Mario wasn't messing me up. I don't know why Mario has to mess me up. It's like, seriously, Mario? Come on. You're supposed to work with me. Not tear me apart and laugh in my face. Yeah, I'm not gonna win. It's very rare for me to win this minigame, actually. Well, as the one player, I actually can win it, but as the two pl or th the team, I never win it. Probably like 1% 1, 1 against a 99%. Because, yeah, because the computer players like pick you up, but then they like button match like so fast I can't even get rid of them. Oh, well, this time I did. But now the next time he's gonna be like button mashing like crazy. Yeah, see. Yeah, so then, um, then the Wii U came out, and that's when everything started to change. And I was like, oh, I think the first the game that started it off would be Super Mario 3D World. I was like, oh my gosh, Super Mario 3D World, I can hardly wait until I get that game because it's going to be so much fun. I'm just going to play endlessly, and of course, naturally, I'm going to be playing as Princess Peach, who finally returns to her, um playable status that's not like a party game, a store, a sport game, or any type of board game. It's actually going to be a full-on save the world game. It's like much like Super Paper Mario. So I was excited a lot when I heard about that game and I was so so excited. <laughs> you already have an item so you can't play. Thank you Mario for making me broke. I mean, I just really needed to go broke right now. Whoa! Whoa! 
And then, yeah, so then when we learned, when I learned about Super Mario 3D World, apparently along the line, Rosalina was confirmed. You rip it good. Like you. I mean. What? I won? I started hating her again. All those thoughts I had before um, Mario Galaxy came back. <clears throat> came back. I thought, no. <laughs> Why?